Hi everybody, welcome to the Joyful Johnsons. It's Lauren here. Welcome to our channel, Bienvenidos. Um, I am a, an originally an American who has been living in Costa Rica for a little over a year now with my three very young children and my husband and our very super old dog who we love to the moon and back. Today I wanted to talk about a topic that we had a lot of viewers ask about um, and that is what do you do for school when you move to Costa Rica? Um, so make sure you subscribe to our channel if you have not already for all things traveling to and relocating to Costa Rica. Um, so let's do a quick overview, but first of all, it's going to depend entirely on where you live in the country. Um, Costa Rica is broken up into many provinces or areas and we live in Guanacaste. So the Liberia International Airport is about an hour and 30 minutes north of Hunkial, which is the small little town that we live in right now. And frankly, this province has tons of schooling options. And so, you know, there are many areas that you cannot move to if you are planning on putting your children in school. Um, so today I wanted to share with you a little bit about the different kinds of school, um, the schools that you'll see for your kids and talk a little bit about the differences of them just from what I have observed. Um, so do me a favor and comment if you have um, school age children or preschool age children um, and any specific questions you might have, I'd be happy to answer if I'm able. So we have three children. Um, we have four and a half year old twins who are autistic and we have a six and a half year old son, all beautiful, bright little learners who have so much energy. Um, and when we lived in the United States, when we were going to move to Costa Rica, they were three and five years old. So they were still like preschool, daycare, not even into kindergarten age yet at the time. We were pretty much homeschooling. Uh, we are from Texas and in that state where we are still legal residents of, um, it is legal to homeschool. And so when we moved to Costa Rica, we had no intention of putting our children in school. However, um, I was offered a really great job teaching music at um, a private school here called Wise Education. It's just north of Tamarindo in Guanacaste province. Um, and so because they offered me a job, um, I decided to try to put our children in school. We loved that school. It was a wonderful fit um, for the education and academic perspective that we wanted for our children. Um, however, uh, that's when we discovered that our twins have autism and their sensory processing challenges and um, neurodiversity was not a good fit for the classroom. And so we decided, to, I decided to leave that position from that school and we are now currently homeschooling. Um, but I have many piano and music students that I teach who go to all of the different schools. And I wanna share with you now a little bit about what those schools are like from what I have heard and what I have seen, just so you can have an idea of the options for your children. So number one is Costa Rican public school. Costa Rican public school is open to any child who is here um, and it is free. It is 100% in Spanish, of course, because that is the local language, um, but the schools here are very, very good. From what I have heard, I know many people who have moved from other countries and put their children into public school here. Now, if you want your child to be bilingual, that would not be the best option unless you have a private you know, uh, tutor for English um, or you're working to teach them English at home also. So that would be a really good submersion into the Spanish language. Um, and typically the Costa Rican public schools, at least in our area where we are um, right now, um, are not a full day. You know, the American school day is usually eight in the morning to three or four in the afternoon, which by the way, I personally believe is way too long for a school day. Um, and the Costa Rican schools here go very short, usually only until about 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock because the Costa Ricans um, really value family time. And so um, just to let you know, that will be different across the areas, but that's just what I have observed from our local area. I wanna give a disclaimer, as I go through all of these schools, I am not personally endorsing or um, bashing any of the schools. I'm just going to prevent, present the black and white facts for you just so you can know what kind of education opportunities are available. Okay, so now we touched on public schools. Public schools here are good. They are not bad schools at all. They are quite lovely. Um, just to give you an idea of the other options for private schooling. Um, the first is CREA, that is the Costa Rica International Academy. This is very much a college prep school. 
if you want your child to be very academically regimented um, and you want your child to probably go to college, um, this is a very academically based school. So um, very, very rigorous in that aspect. Um, they do have pre-K through 12th grade. Um, they are internationally um, accredited and it will cost you per child between seven and $9,000 a year in tuition, okay? Um, next we have Educarte. Educarte is from pre-K through 12 also. Um, and it is a bi, Alcria is also bilingual in English and Spanish. Um, Educarte is also a bilingual school. Most of the private schools here are English and Spanish to give both language immersion. Um, that one is um, north of Tamarindo also, kind of in the Tamarindo area in Guanacaste. Um, that will cost you in tuition between four and $6,000 per year, depending on how old your child is. Um, Educarte, they have um, a maximum class size usually of around 20 students. Um, and it seems to be pretty balanced um, of the education. Next, we have the Waldorf School. I actually have a few friends whose children go to the Waldorf School. If you don't know the Waldorf philosophy, very much play-based, um, very much open-ended play, very nature-based. It's a quite lovely academic, um, you know, learning approach, I won't say academic. Um, that one's only preschool through fifth grade, okay? Um, and that one's between Playa Tamarindo and Playa Avellanas. And um, that one is, again, very much outdoor learning, very much nature-based, uh, free play, uh, lots of arts, you know, music and singing and dancing and et cetera. Next, we have IREN, I-R-E-N, uh, like a Renaissance Academy. That's from pre-K through 12th grade also. Um, they're around $7,000 a year per, tu per child for tuition. Um, they are very much... Um, uh, bilingual for English and Spanish. Um, and this one is on a huge campus, like 33 acres in the Black Stallion area, and uh, very much lots of horseback riding, lots of outdoor nature activities um, kind of philosophy. We have the Journey School of Costa Rica. Um, this one is also on the road between Tamarindo and Huacas, and it's from pre-K through 12. Um, tuitions between six and seven thousand dollars a year per student. Um, and they claim to be project-based, project-based curriculum. Um, we also have La Paz Community School, which is from pre-K through 12. Um, their tuition is going to be between $6,000 and $10,000 a year per student, depending on the age. They do have an international baccalaureate program. They're internationally accredited for um, graduation from high school, which many of the other private schools here are not. Um, and this one is very much, um, they say that they're based on community and like lifelong learning, um, two-way dual immersion. So again, you get lots of good English and Spanish there. Another option is Tide Academy. Um, Tide Academy is K through 12. They're between four and $6,000 a year for, um, for tuition. And they are very much a small, small, small class size. So if you want something smaller, um, Smaller class sizes, you know, five or six students in a class to get that uh, more uh, more um, personalized attention for your kids. That's a great option. Um, and they also are only part of the school day, so they only run for a few hours in the morning. Um, so again, not that not that full um, school day. Um, there's another new um, school called Wise Wise Education. Um, this was the school that I was working at when we first moved here, and it's very much nature based, project based, um, and they have. <clears throat> pre-k up through middle school at the time at the time that I left and that's between Tamarindo and um, Waukes as well so just in the 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 um, Guanacaste province you're going to have many options for private school it's going to depend a lot on do you want your child sitting at a desk all day do you want your child moving and doing more things outside do you want your child to have a full like 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. kind of uh, program? Do you want your child to be just part time in the morning um, or in the afternoon, vice versa? And um, kind of what setting you want them in? Do you want them to wear a face mask all day? Do you want them to be out in the fresh air all day? It's going to depend entirely on your family's uh, beliefs and uh, kind of what kind of education you're wanting for your children. So again, right now um, we are homeschooling, which many people will tell you that homeschooling is not legal in Costa Rica. 
Um, <clears throat> I can say from our perspective, we know many, many, many people here who homeschool, um, expats and Ticos alike. Um, you just have to be, um, for us, like my home, my home residency is with Texas in the United States. And I am still legally a resident of Texas and in the state of Texas, it is completely legal to homeschool. And so um, know that that is an option. We love the flexibility of doing that. Um, I teach music lessons in the afternoons and evenings. My husband does a little work in the morning. And so I get to homeschool the children in the morning. My husband homeschools them a little bit in the afternoon. And because they're little, they play outside. We teach them to swim. We teach them to ride, they ride bikes and scooters and they play at the beach and we learn a lot about nature. We do reading and writing and play and music, of course, because I am a music teacher, um, but it's really beautiful. We love the weather here. We love the culture here. We love um, the flexibility to do that. Um, <clears throat> and my husband and I are both teachers. So we love teaching, we love learning and so do our kids. Um, so I hope this was helpful for those of you who had questions about the schooling options here in Costa Rica. Um, again, that will vary greatly for different provinces that you move to, but that's something you're going to want to figure out of where you're going to go in Costa Rica um, before you make that decision. Make sure that you have some schooling options in the area. Make sure the tuition is something that you're okay with with your budget because they vary um, greatly. They vary greatly. Um, and just know that there are many good options here for school um, that are outside of the United States, of course. So if you have any specific questions, please drop a comment below. And if you have any other questions about living in Costa Rica, traveling to Costa Rica, life with kids in Costa Rica, make sure to drop us a comment and I would love to make a video for you. Until then, friends, have a beautiful day. We'll see you soon.